What the joke, man? This is. Alright guys, welcome back to another video, Ultimate Learning. I hope you liked our last video where we made a fire using just a 9 volt battery and some iron wool. When we completed that circuit, you saw the iron wool set on fire and the more oxygen that was exposed to that iron wool, the brighter the flame. Well in this video, we're going to do something completely different again. Uh, this reaction is called displacement. Displacement happens when you react to a more reactive metal with a less reactive metal in a compound. And that more reactive metal can kick out the less reactive metal from its compound. The one that we're gonna to do today is called thermite. Thermite involves aluminium, which is a reactive metal, reacting with iron oxide. And when we react those two together, the aluminium can displace or kick out the iron, leaving molten iron and aluminium oxide. This reaction will get very hot. So here we've got our aluminium powder. Aluminium is a silverish metal and it works best as a fine powder because it's got a larger surface area. Aluminium is quite high up on the reactivity series, meaning it's a quite reactive metal. And when we react this with our iron oxide, we're going to see a very exciting reaction. All right guys, so here we have our iron oxide. You can see it has a reddish color and usually we find iron oxide in nature as rust. And all this is is just iron that's reacted with the oxygen. This is the compound that the aluminium is gonna react with. All right guys, so we're gonna need a fuse when we do this reaction. And I've got a piece of magnesium ribbon. And I just wanna show you guys what happens when we light a magnesium ribbon. Alright guys, so we've mixed our thermite and as you can see, I've got it all over me. Let's just hope that the reaction doesn't take place on my hands. But just to show you guys what our thermite mix actually looks like, we actually made more than I predicted. So we've made enough now for two containers of thermite. Let's see what we can do with it today. Wasn't it just that one? Yeah. still hot man as well yeah so you can see look that the thermites melted our drink can and in my hand right now still quite hot we've got pure iron and that's the iron that was displaced from the thermite reaction still quite hot still quite toasty as well but you can see here look the thermite reached about 2500 degrees which is enough look to completely melt a drink can. Yeah. Guys, so you just seen the thermites you know to melt our aluminium can. Well here I've got a steel padlock and I'm taking this from my favorite episode of Breaking Bad where they use a thermite reaction to break open a steel lock. So we're gonna see if the thermite can break our steel lock open. A 
And look, the heat from the thermites melted my gloves. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do then, we're gonna use our steel padlock keys as well. We're gonna put some thermite on top, see if our thermite can melt through our steel lock. It should be able to, never done it before, but let's see what happens. Private property, huh? Yeah, I know, this is private property, Alright, guys, our lock survived the thermite reaction. Um, it should have melted. Um, because the temperature of the thermite is about 2500 which is enough to melt steel but maybe we just didn't use enough thermite let us know what you want us to put thermite on next look it actually melted the key ring don't know if you can see it there, but we've managed to melt the key ring. Still hot, you can feel the heat coming off it. All right guys, so what have we learned in this video? Well, today we've learned that displacement occurs when a more reactive metal can be used to kick out a less reactive metal from its compound. A common example of displacement is the thermite, where we use aluminium to kick out the iron from iron oxide, leaving molten iron. This is able to burn through different materials because of the temperature it reaches over 2000 degrees. All right guys, ultimate learning.